The debate over abortion tonight, Debor abortion access that is continues in Pennsylvania with pro-choice and pro-life lawmakers weighing in. Erie News Now State Capitol Correspondent Brendan Scanlon joins us now live to tell us about Republican legislation that seeks to put abortion on the ballot. Brendan. Yeah, hey there, Mike and Eva, and good evening. So there is a proposed state constitutional amendment that would let voters decide the future of taxpayer-funded abortions in the Commonwealth. The process is the only way for uh, lawmakers opposed to abortion uh, to bypass the governor's veto pen. Now, the legislature would have to pass the amendment in two consecutive sessions uh, before it could be put on the ballot for Pennsylvania voters to decide. Uh, again, there, there are techniques and gimmicks that people can use to get around it, uh, but the, the safest, the best thing we can do is recognize that elections matter and get out and vote. Governor Wolf sharing his thoughts on the proposed amendment that could be on the ballot as soon as next spring. Wolf also emphasized the importance of this year's race for governor between two candidates with very distinct stances on abortion access. Democrat pro-choice candidate Josh Shapiro and Republican pro-life candidate Doug Mastriano. Pro-life pro Republicans are hopeful their candidate will prevail in November. However, they say the proposed amendment is their best option if their candidate does not win. We do have a constitutional amendment that would uh, defund any abortion, uh, any elective abortion in the state of Pennsylvania. That would bypass the governor and go directly to the people to decide. And I also spoke with Representative Rapp about uh, Doug Mastriano's position on no exceptions for abortion as well uh, as the future of contraceptives and birth, birth control. Uh, so to see what she had to say, you could find more of her response up on our website, erienewsnow.com. But for now, live inside the state capitol for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scan.